It's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on today's um, video tutorial or Facebook Live, I'm gonna show you what I think may be my favorite all-time project because it combines three things that I absolutely love. It combines my love of sheet music and antique books. Those are kind of the same. It combines my love of book projects and it combines my love of Mod Podge. So, I think you're gonna really like this. I'm super excited about it. Um, as you're jumping on, go ahead and say hi. Uh, if you wanna tell me where you're watching from, that would be awesome. If you have questions, let me know that and I'd be glad to um, give you more information or answer. Uh, if you're not already following DIY Dreaming, please do. I have about a million and one other projects lined up and ready to go, including that painted co silver coffee pot that we talked about last week. So you don't want to miss any of them. So go ahead and um, click like or follow. Okay, so let's jump right in. So last week I picked up at a, an antique shop this um, book of vintage sheet music, all right? And um, also, last week, my husband started cleaning out our basement. And you guys, he has a million and one different business books, like this one. Bill Gates, Business at the Speed of Thought, okay? And he had all these put in some boxes out in the garage and he was getting ready to donate those to Goodwill, which is great. But um, I thought, oh my gosh, I would love to be able to do something with those books. Uh, but I didn't really want to have to paint this part of it, okay? Um, they were all nice. I've got a whole stack of them in my office. They're all, hey Sharon, thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, Oregon, wow. That's a long ways away. They all have these nice hard covers, but they all have these obnoxious titles on the spine. And I decided that I really didn't want to paint those. So, um, coincidentally, I had um, looked at Pinterest and I had um, noticed that somebody was making flowers and bows out of vintage sheet music and that of course interested me and um, they suggested that if you paint Mod Podge, good old-fashioned Mod Podge with a foam brush on either side of your sheet music it will help it be more durable okay and this sheet music that I have here that I'm totally in love with is very fragile and so when I was trying to do the bow project, which that's something I'll show you in the future, um, it was crumbling and breaking. It's really brittle. So I decided to try the idea of painting Mod Podge on um, my sheet music. I'll show you some. And, um, and at, this all happened at the same time. Hey, hi, Deborah. Oh, thank you. This is a Target top. Isn't it cute? My husband always makes fun of me when I wear it because he says I'm in the army. Um, anyway, so I tried that, that idea out. I painted some sheet music. Okay, this is some of it. These are some little pieces of the sheet music that I painted this um, antique sheet music or vintage, okay? So um, at the same time, I was thinking about these books and I thought, I wonder, hey Mimi, I wonder if I could Mod Podge some of this Mod Podge sheet music over the spine of these books and then just do my usual thing with some twine. And I decided that I had a whole stack of these books that, that were going to Goodwill anyways. I just ripped the jackets off of them and I sat down and decided to give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I have so many thoughts. This is such a cool project. You guys definitely have to try it. Okay, so this was the first stack that I did. These were all beautiful red books that my husband had, different business topics, some political topics too. 
and I just had mod podged a sheet of that vintage paper that was so fragile. And when you put a coat on both sides, this is the a newer kind of sheet music, it becomes kind of leathery, which is awesome because it, it looks almost like leather, I think. Let me put this close on the um, spine. What do you guys think about that? They're all red books, so I decided to combine those and I just mod podge both sides of three pieces of the paper, okay? So I liked that, and at the same time, this is just so coincidental, I'm supposed to be doing this project right now. At the same time, I got out this book that my mom just gave me. It was my grandmother's, and it belonged to either her aunt or her sister, I'm not sure. Whoever Mrs. Lucia M. Jones is. This is one of those Go Days ladies books, which I don't know if anyone's familiar with that, but um, mine is in terrible condition, um, but it has all these fantastic drawings and stuff. And then that made me think, I had been just looking through it. That made me think, oh my gosh, I have all these beautiful vintage encyclopedias. You guys, I have a ton of um, vintage books at my house. I have them scattered throughout the house and then I have a cabinet full of them too. So I got out that I have three, three of, this is volume one of three vintage um, encyclopedias, okay? And um, I really don't think anybody's ever gonna use them for a book project, for a, a book report or anything. And they're just collecting dust. And so I decided to bite the bullet and I ripped out three pages from it, okay? And I ripped out three pages that had something interesting on them. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I have too many things here. Oh, and let's go back for one second. If you guys haven't seen this book project, which is made with soft cover books that you stencil the spine and I put a bird and then you tie a, you know, a piece of ribbon and some twine on it. Scroll back in my videos, um, probably two months worth, and you can see all these book projects that I did with soft cover books. Okay, where am I? Okay, so I ripped out three pages from the encyclopedia, just random, and I had them be pages that had stuff on them, like this one here has, um, I can't decide whether I'm gonna use these flowers or this beaver and this buffalo on the other side. And this one has mushrooms. I think this is the one I decided to use. Mushrooms and a seashell. Okay, so I mod podge these three pieces plus one more. And I made this, oh my gosh, I love it. I made this one right here. What do you guys think? Is that not absolutely beautiful? And it doesn't ruin the book. <laughs> and this was one of my husband's books. It still has a piece of mail in the center of it and a plane tick, a, a seating thing from a plane trip. So this one had um, this pretty little deer and this seashell on it. And I just um, measured the width from here to here and how wide it was, and I cut the piece of paper, okay? And then I mod podged it on. I'm sorry, this is so scrambled, but I am so in love with this project. Hey, Letitia, hey, Deborah, you love it. Oh, I'm so glad. I, I absolutely love this. So this is probably just step one of this um, project because we may want to embellish them a little bit more than just applying the vintage sheet music or vintage encyclopedia pages on the spine. Okay, so I wanna actually show you how to do it. I'm gonna do it with this book, this Bill Gates book, which is a nice navy blue color. And I have a whole ton of um, more of those navy blue books. So I could do them a stack, but you know, I think that just one with some twine on it is lovely. So I may not stack them up. Hey Rose, hey Sharon. Oh, I'm so glad you guys uh, like this. 
you missed. No, um, Rose, you did not miss the project. I'm still talking about it and I'm actually gonna show you how to do it now. Okay, so I'm going to use this piece of um, vintage encyclopedia page, okay? And I took a ruler and I trimmed along this edge because I had literally just ripped it out of the book. So I needed a clean edge, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how big to cut the other side. I'll show you how I do that. And then we'll um, cut the top and the bottom and then we will do the Mod Podge. And you guys are gonna not, not believe how easy it is. Okay, so I'm, this spot right here, see where the spine literally ends and the book starts? That's the spot I'm measuring from. Okay, what's going on here? I'm feeling confused. Here we go, okay. So I'm going to just make a mark on my piece of paper where the top and bottom of the book are, roughly. And then I'm going to, let's see, what is that? This is, I'm gonna lay it on here. And I'm going to, did you guys like the little tease I put out last night? Oh my gosh, I was so excited about this project. I could hardly sleep. Okay, so that now I'm just holding this um, to kind of get an idea of where I want to cut it, all right? And I think that that other side ends right about here. So. This is the one and only time I'm actually going to use a ruler because normally I tell you guys, don't measure, don't stress about things being perfect. And I'm not stressed about this being perfect, but I do want this. The, I want to use scissors to cut it. Uh-oh, do I have scissors, scissors on the table? No, I'll have to go get that in just a second. Darn. Would you do this project and would you embellish it? Would you stencil some words on the on the front part of the book? Or like this one, I did put a stencil right here in this bottom corner. Um, what I was thinking is this book reminds me of a mockingbird and I have sheet music on the spines. So that's why I did that mockingbird uh, right there. Let's see, which way can you see it? Okay, let me find my scissors. And let me put my glasses on. And I'm sorry this is taking so long. I will definitely take pictures when I'm finished and I'll put pictures in the um, comments. Uh, and then if you love this craft, I'm really trying to grow the DIY Dreaming Facebook page. If you love this craft, um, you love these kind of crafts that I do that are quick, easy, super simple, um, a little unusual, um, super affordable and that don't require any artistic abilities. If you like those kind of crafts and you're liking my page right now, um, sprinkle my this tutorial or anything else you want or just tell your friends about it and um, that would be awesome. Okay, we're almost there. And it's not going to be perfect, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Let me just erase the pencil. And that noise is my dog, Mia. She's been crying all day long, driving me crazy. Okay, so this is what's going to go on our spine. Deborah, I have three projects to make today, sprinkling. Yay! Oh my gosh, I have other stuff coming up. 
I don't always do projects where you paint something. Um, I'm also doing bowl fillers and these cute little, um, I can't remember what they were called, but they're just made with burlap. They were so easy. So I always have like 10 projects. My teapot that, or my coffee pot that I'm painting is about halfway done. And I can't wait for that to be finished so I can show you. Okay, now we're actually ready for the Mod Podge. I'm such a messy crafter, I should have some table covering on here, but I do not. So I'm just going to put, you know, a medium thick coat of Mod Podge all the way up to the edge of that line that I showed you earlier, where it has that different kind of spine covering. And then I'm going to do a little bit on here and then we'll come back as soon as we get this front part on and we'll do the the next part okay so this is what it looks like can you guys see hey Katrina add your favorites oh that's brilliant oh my gosh so that is one thing I would really like um, for you guys to do and that is give me ideas about how we can take this project one more step further um, you know using like another stencil or any other ideas you have please share just like Katrina did thank you so much okay now I'm just eyeballing this onto the front and I'm kind of can you see I'm sort of pushing down in that little ridge let me lift it up so I can show you right here there's kind of a little ridge so I'm pushing it into that and I'm looking to see is it do I have it straight yes I mostly do okay so now I will take a bunch more Mod Podge and I'm just gonna put it on the spine and it doesn't matter how much you do really um, just, you just want enough that it's going to stick on there really good. And I'm going to put the Mod Podge here too. So what do you guys think about this project? I, um, I am always looking at Pinterest and I love it when it's a combination of things that um, I come up with a new project. Um, I didn't actually see uh, anyone making leather or le leatherish stuff. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh my gosh, I really appreciate that. I didn't actually see anything on Pinterest with this project. I just took several ideas and what was happening in my home and I um, combined them and voila, this is what you have. So this is this navy blue book. And I'll have to trim just a teeny bit where I had it too long on both ends, but it is done. And you guys, this, the encyclopedia pages are not brittle like that music was. Um, the Mod Podge on both sides of it did make, give it sort of a leathery kind of look and feel, but it's still pretty brittle. But these encyclopedia pages are strong and um, I love this little seashell so and this is blue so I may do something beach or sea or something related so that is the project um, I hope you liked this and if you haven't already liked DIY dreaming my Facebook page uh, or followed it be sure to do that just take a peek there's a lot of you guys that um, come on regularly when I'm doing my Facebook lives um, and I've invited you to, to like the page, but you haven't or you've just not seen it. So take a peek and check on that. Let me know what you think I should do next to these projects. Should I do any further embellishment on them? 
or should I leave them as they are? So, have a wonderful day. I will be coming back live. Oh, I do have one other thing to show you. I will be coming back live probably again today because um, I have a few other things to show you, but I have something ugly. Do you guys remember last week when we talked about that ugly, uh, those two ugly trays that I had? Well, this was something that I once loved. I will confess that. And maybe you have something like it. It's this awful, awful fake painting of a bunny. The frame is fabulous though. And I think I purchased this, oh gosh, like 15 or 20 years ago. And it still has the tag on the back of it, uh, which says I paid $138 for it. I can't believe that. Anyways, I am going to do something fabulous with this. And if you guys have any ideas, please um, let me know. You can put them in the comments for this thread or you can personal message me or um, whatever. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I will see you again very soon.